This morning, the markets went crazy, especially the gold, the S&P 500, and dollar market went absolutely crazy all over the place. We'll jump into that in just a moment. The PCI, uh, PCE price index in the US rose 0.3% in February, easing from a 0.6% advance in January. Now, you might not know what PCE is, as it's talked about less than the notorious CPI, but it is a measurement of inflation uh, that has a lot of impact on the markets. And in addition, the core PCE price index, which excludes food and energy, was up 0.3% percent slightly below forecasts on a yearly basis the pce inflation slowed to five percent the lowest since september 2021 while the core index eased to 4.6 percent now all of this stuff is very very impactful to the us dollar which we talk about often on this channel let's jump in okay another piece of information i want to jump into before we get into the charts uh, Michael J. Burry, many of you guys know him from The Big Shorts, the very famous movie about uh, the 2008 financial crisis. He recently put out a tweet that just said, sell on it, referring likely, as many are assuming, uh, sell, meaning the, the S&P 500, like the stock market, get rid of stocks, as this guy is notorious for his stock market uh, participation. Well, recently he said, I was wrong to say sell. You what? So he admitted that he changed his mind and hey, I, I I show praise to anybody who can just say, hey, I was wrong about this, that. Uh, he says, I was wrong to say sell. And, and why does that matter? Well, the reason this is meaningful is that uh, the reason he may have said sell initially, uh, whatever those reasons were, his bearish case for the S&P 500, which of course could loosely be equated to some sort of bullish factor on the dollar, uh, he has changed his mind on. And I'll give you guys my take as to why I think that the dollar trade has fallen apart and why it increasingly looks bearish in my personal opinion. So, Again, today we got news of continued uh, increase in, in the rate at which we, we see inflation going away. I, that was a confusing way of saying it, but let's just pull up the inflation chart. We talked about this yesterday. Um, inflation continues to be on the decline in the United States. And with today's numbers, again, under undercutting what the market has expected for inflation rates, it shows, again, a, a step towards our overall goal of seeing inflation decline here, or at least that's the goal of the Federal Reserve. So the stock market and the gold market and the dollar really went crazy. Let's take first a look at the dollar market, which you can see on the one hour chart. We had a big screaming halt to this upward movement that we saw. Uh, the, the dollar market saw a little bit of a rally off of this 102, let's call it level. I'm sorry, 102.1 more, more accurately. Price rallies and finds a good bit of uh, support in this area, followed by a significant drop on the PCE number that came out this morning. Now, this, in my opinion, continues to push the case that we've been talking about, which is a bearish US dollar. Now, I tried, I tried in vain to be bullish on the dollar uh, last month uh, or in the last month. I've ceased that and similar to Michael Burry, uh, I admitted that I was wrong about that and I think that I think that the dollar continues to look bearish. From a technical analysis perspective, um, the dollar chart looks like it wants to head back down to this area. Now, when I was seemingly looking like I could find some bullish trade setups, it was mostly off of this level. I wanted a 50% retracement to hold and it did not hold. At that point, I cut the idea of being long a dollar as if it can't find a support level off of the 50% retracement after all this strength off the daily chart, there's something really, really seriously concerning. And we in fact saw this thing continue to sell off. And like I said, I think we are probably headed for a 100% retracement back down to 101 at some point here in the near future as the inflation story is losing its grip on the markets. There's your fundamental breakdown. Now let's take a little closer look at some of the charts out there. I wanna take a look at gold, which is my number one interest right now in terms of trading setups. I'm looking for pullbacks here. So we saw a pop on today's news, followed by some crazy volatility as the market sold off, but now recovering those moves. I've got two trade setups that I'm closely monitoring on the gold chart here right now. Uh, and let's go through them real quick. First, let's say that the price does in fact get a break and stays above the previous high. Uh, I, what I'd like to see here is I'd like to see the candle fill out this uh, this wick here and any sign of it doing so, pullbacks, I'm all for it. Looking for long continuation trades on the gold market. On the flip side, we'll take a look at our second trade. But before we do that, 
I do want to take a quick second to remind you guys that if you're not already inside of our VIP group, we do have a discount going on right now. And at the top of the description, we've got a link to chat with one of our support team members. If you'd like to get access to the Discord for a discount, you get access to our entries and exits, myself, Frank and Ivan, the three trading coaches here. Uh, we also have our strategies posted up there. You can join our Get Funded program, which is basically an educational service that we help traders towards their goal of getting funded. And we also have a community, a chat room available for people involved. So come join us if you have not already. We'd love to meet more of you guys. The second trade scenario that I have on gold, which again, if I take this trade, you will see it inside of the Discord community, um, is a deeper pullback. I'd like to try and get this thing on a, di uh, a dip if we do see it. I didn't catch it here this morning. It was very, very fast moving. And by the time I got to my setup, the trade had already jumped back. So um, I am looking for a deeper retracement, this area as well as this area. Uh, let's be more specific. Uh, 1975 and 1970 both look interesting, in my opinion, for continuation buys on the gold market. As I continue to monitor this upward trend, I'm still interested uh, myself in getting long. Now, again, this is an opinion I'm putting out on the internet. I have been wrong in the public eye. I have been right in the public eye. I will not uh, make any sort of claims that just because I have a bullish idea on something, I'm not always right. Again, I was wrong about the dollar this month. And being right or being wrong is less important than how you handle each case scenario. When you're right, do you make more money than when you're wrong? That's all that matters when it comes to trading. Everyone's wrong sometimes. It's how you handle it when you're right versus when you're wrong. Um, I like gold long. That's a, that's a big trade that I have personally. We need to take a look also at the S&P 500, because this thing, guys, is runaway train right now. We are seeing strength return to the indices, and you guys know I love trading the indices. Dips look attractive in my personal opinion, though the edge finder does not quite have us there. I will continue to watch this for evidence of possible signals to the long side, and I will be reporting that inside of the VIP Discord. If you guys are in there, you'll see the trades when I take them. You'll get a notification to your phone. Uh, so I do like the S&P 500 long. The chart looks gorgeous, and I am waiting for an opportunity to get involved here uh, at a reasonable place. Um, we'll take a look at the watch list here, see if there's anything new to the screen. And you can see there is actually a couple things. We've got dollar yen, euro yen, euro Aussie, and of course, gold continuing to hold that number one spot uh, as a possible long scenario for the markets. So again, very, very much my favorite pair or favorite chart to watch right now is gold. Um, on the sell side, we've got Aussie dollar. Uh, I don't love the chart for this one, to be completely honest, and Aussie NZD. I talked briefly about this on the stream here today. We'll take a look at uh, Aussie USD. You can see it's just a bit choppy. I got stopped out on an attempt to go short. Just don't love the chart here. But Aussie NZD, a little bit more interesting. You can see this thing, this is a four hour chart that we're looking at. I'd be interested potentially in a break of structure to the downside, right? Looking left, if we can break this area, a retest could actually offer some really good risk to reward and going with the higher time frame when we look at the daily chart, a nice downward trend that we've got forming uh, off the daily. So I like Aussie to NZD on the short side if we get a break and retest, but that is sort of the only other one that's on my hot watch list, if you will, um, with gold continuing to be the number one focus in my personal trading uh, going forward. Let's take a quick look at the smart money tracker, which shows us what institutional traders are looking at. And you can see that the gold market continues to be a pretty heavy long favorite from institutional traders. Very interesting there with the Japanese yen and the Canadian dollar, which did have some news today, also on the short side. So we flipped that around, big short interest. And you can see this is actually very interesting to me. Here's CAD CHF. We'll take a look at the one hour chart and excuse my uh, chart needing to adapt there. Uh, despite, <clears throat> you know, everything going on, uh, the, the Canadian dollar still just continues to trail lower. Uh, now, of course, this is a one minute chart. So let's take a look at the hourly chart. And you can see a big dump today uh, following the news that they had CAD GDP, which I believe came out uh, as expected or actually even better than expected. And despite that, um, still CAD could not catch a break. CAD yen, same story for those of you watching CAD pairs, just uh, not quite seeing any sort of significant pop dollar cad um <clears throat> selling off so a little bit of a little bit of dollar weakness combined with some cad strength given a little bit here but again still nothing super impressive for the canadian dollar which would make sense as we have institutional money very short on the cad we continue to watch that and more on the channel if you guys are enjoying the content hit that subscribe button thanks for watching
Hey, guess what? I just found a video made just for you. Click this video to help with your trading and uh, thanks for watching.